yo what's up guys welcome to coding Bot. in this video i am going to show you how to connect your modern application with mongodb database in this video i am going to use in the local host database um, as well as you can use the cloud database cloud mongodb database as well i will show you everything how to connect your modern application with mongodb database make sure to subscribe and put any question in the comment section i will question i will answer for every uh, question um, as soon as possible First of all, you have to go to your um, command prompt and uh, you have to install the MongoDB. Um, I'm going to type Mongo and you can see here what is the Mongo uh, version. I have installed the version 4.4.4 this version. You can install MongoDB uh, by just googling. I will put the link to go to the website to install MongoDB to your local computer and then i have to go to my um, vs code i'm using vs code you can use any uh, code editor or any text editor i have created this code in uh, folder and i have opened up it in the this one so now we have to go to your backend folder or the backend directory um now i'm going to go to this one by opening opening this terminal you can go to this terminal and new terminal open new terminal and i'm going to enter for my backend folder cd backend now I am at my backend folder. Now in here I have to create some folders for backend controllings. I am going to create the controller. You can use the controllers in this folder. And nextly I am going to use in the models. You can use the models, database models in this folder. And I am using the routes. In this video I am not going on to use every folder but I have to show you how to create folders in the backend folder, the folder structure and now i'm using and i'm creating the uh, db connect i'm our name is as db connect right and in this folder i'm going to creating my db connection folder db connect dot js yeah now it's fine and now i'm in my uh, in the in this terminal i'm in my the backend folder i have to install some packages uh, to configure your stuffs can connect to your database the connect to among one application with your mongodb database uh, now i have to use uh, these commands to install some modules and packages i'm uh, using npmi or the npm install space i need um, the dot env dot env e and v and i need um express and i need um course course it's not need for this task but i have to install that one course and mongoose mongoose and i'm going to install the node mod as well now press enter it will take some time to install the all the modules into your backend directory uh, it, uh, up to your according to your internet connection it will take some time to install this dot tnv modules and express calls mongoose and node mod, uh, modules into your local pc it will take some time i'm going to skip from here to the next part now it's all fine i have ins uh, installed all the modules which i need to connect my modern application with the mongodb database tnv express mongoose and node more and uh, next i have to go to the command prompt i have shown that you before go to your command prompt and type in uh, sorry node mon uh, mongodb sorry mongo just type mongo and press enter you can see the version installed version of mongodb the version this version you have to install mongo for your uh, computer or else you can't uh, deal with mongodb localhost server right go to google and uh, download mongodb and install it to your uh, local host local pc and next uh, we can continue um, I'm going to close this package.json uh, file in here. You can see, you can check up what are the modules you have installed. You can see set your scripts to start the server. Uh, I have not created the server.js. Now I'm going to create this file server.js file. All right, let's close it. And uh, these are the things we have to create files. And another file is we need .env file to set our database link right it's all fine in package.json i'm going to close it in here we are going to use this one to connect the mongodb for our mongodb database in here i'm going to type like database and equals 
in here you can give your uh, cloud mongodb url as well but uh, uh, as i told you before i'm going to use the localhost server in here i'm going to give the localhost directory mongo db colon and localhost colon in here we are going to use the localhost mongodb port 27017 and slash in here we should give our database name um, before that i'm going to use in this robot 3t which is a gui client for mongodb you can uh, use some there are so many gui clients for mongodb i'm going to create a connection um, in here i'm using the give the name for our connection i'm going to give the coding bot and just save it and just connect you can see our connection has created in here i'm going to create a new database like coding bot and just copy this string and just create you can see our database has created coding bot database in here no collections no functions this is our database now i'm going to go into again going again to my .env file and just paste in here the database name of our database right database equals mongodb colon slash slash localhost colon this is our port address for mongodb slash in here you have to give your mongodb database name and just close this .env file now it's all fine now we have to go to this uh, db.js which is in this database folder i have deleted the uh, previous previously created folders like uh, module models and routes and controllers because it is um, showing like more complex for you now in here uh, i'm going to give the configurations for our database connection i'm requiring the env require why it's going like this require it's fine and just we are using dot tnv config and i'm going to create a constant named mongoose require our mongoose modules mongoose that's fine in here i'm going to make the db connection which is an asynchronous call right const connection equals this is i told you this is asynchronous call arrow function in uh, between this area i'm going to use using a try catch block try and then we are catching the errors we are consoling the errors in here to trr and console dot log await a message now i'm going to fill up this try catch try area i'm using await mongoose we are using this constant in here mongoose dot connect i'm going to use this process keyword process dot env i'm using in here which is our database string just copy it and paste it database comma right in here we have to give the um some url i uh, use new url parser i'm going to set it like set it like true and next um just use unified topology to true just come on and um, i'm going to consoling display in the console our database connection is success or not i'm giving this one and database connection is success this is the success message which which is uh, showing in our console if the database connection is success right i'm going to comment it like success message 
now it's all fine we have to export our module get at module module dot exports equals connection now we're good to go and connection module is this one and we are importing this one module dot export equals connection now it's all fine in this db file now let's close it and close this one as well now we are going to configure our server file and in this server file we are uh, starting this one by giving this command in uh, previously i show you um, the start node server.js when we are using the command in our uh, terminal npm start it is activating this node and this server.js class now it's all fine with our uh, all the files to our database connection now i'm going to set up the server.js class and we are again requiring the .env require dot env dot config right now we are using this require we are using this mongoose for our mongodb connection mongoose where is this error let's see um this is the uh, this should be a constant um constant sorry for that constant mongodb require we are requiring the mongoose modules and nextly we need that um express 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 yeah just type it i think we need that we will need that in the near future let's do it in here require express modules and const app equals express now it's fine now we have to go to give our database connection in here we have to go to we have to give our database connection and nextly we have to give a setup port address to run the backend in this database connection we are using the const we are requiring our const um const connect db let's give the connect constant name as connect db equals require we are requiring the database file which we have created previously we have to give this directory um dot slash database slash db and then connect connect db now database connection has called in this server.js file and we have to set up our port address nextly i'm going to give the const port i'm going to use the port um, 8000 process dot env dot port address so fine starting the server now um, starting the server app dot listen we are going to listen on this port port 8000 or else the uh, port configuring by this uh, tnv process i'm going to console it console log console message and we have to use this not this one right not this um single quotations we have to use this one server is running on port this is the console console message dollar i'm going to uh, display the port address as well in here we have to go to we have to give the port address port address which are passing in here port this is a message which is showing in our console i think uh, we are good to go we are good to run the backend let's type like npm start let's see some issue will be arising npm start it is taking some time to run oh what is this error 
let's find out cannot module cannot find module coding board backend server.js i think our server.js um yeah the spelling is wrong let me rename this one there should be r before this e yeah now we are good to go i'm going to give in the command again npm start let's see what happened um it's running it's running yeah server is running on port 8000 and database connection is success now our backend has connected to our database which uh, which is database which i have created previously coding board database now you can um, go to implement the rest of the things in front end and the back end i have deleted uh, the modules folders i have created like controllers models and routes because it is uh, showing like it seems like more complex now it's fine um we are good to go we have run our npm start and i will summarize this one npm start this is calling for our this script start command and it is going to run this node server.js and one thing i have to i could not uh, remember you you have to install node as well i will show you that one as well finally so in here got your command prompt um, just type like cmd cmd and go to the command prompt windows command prompt and you have to install these two stuffs in your local computer uh, i have shown you i have shown you uh, the how to check the mongodb version in your computer you have to install that one from uh, the official website node hyphen version you can see this is the node version i have installed in my pc before going to this one before going to implement this uh, the all the stuffs you have to install node and mongodb to your local computer please remember that um this is the end of the video i think you have learned something and uh, make sure to subscribe down below and put your questions and put, put your problems and errors in the comment section i will reply as soon as possible thank you for watching guys i will uh, meet you soon in the next video